and welcome to day four uh, reading and uh, devotion in the book of Proverbs. Um, I was asked to uh, just read through that and uh, share some insights. Um, so I just uh, encourage you to uh, read the fourth chapter of Proverbs and then come back and join us for uh, a time of discovery. So as we push forward and move forward, I'd like to share with you a few things that uh, jumped out to me from the scripture. So as I read Proverbs chapter 4, um, which is entitled, ironically, A Father's Wise Advice in the New Living Translation, um, coming up on Father's Day and thinking about um, my own father, um, maybe for you it was a grandfather, an uncle, uh, a teacher, someone who was a, a strong male influence in your life, and thinking about the advice that they gave you and how you were able to apply that and how it continues to speak to you. So a father's wise advice. Um, what struck me is how many times certain words and phrases were repeated throughout the verse. In verse one, it says, my children, listen when your father corrects you, pay attention. How many times do we find ourselves uh, using those phrases with our own children, um, nieces and nephews, family, friends, when we're trying to advise them on something. Pay attention. Use good judgment, uh, good guidance. Uh, we have to find where that good guidance and good judgment comes from. It's not something we automatically have. It comes through wisdom, and wisdom, which is repeated several times through this chapter. Um, don't turn away from my instruction is something that uh, how many times have we said, don't touch that, it's hot, don't touch that, it's hot. And they have to touch it to discover that for themselves. So sometimes our instructions have to be tested, but don't turn away from it. Wisdom, develop good judgment. It's re repeated throughout this. Um, develop good judgment, good guidance. Don't forget my words. When it comes to the word wisdom, we've heard wisdom a lot over the last, um, th now three days going into our fourth day. But in chapter four, it remind us, reminds us wisdom protects. Wisdom um, shows us the wise thing to do and a reminded that it is a wise thing to do. Wisdom uh, will make you great. Wisdom will honor you. Wisdom will help you set your path straight. Um, so as I think for myself, wisdom that I received from my father, um, my dad was in the military and he was gone a lot of my younger life. But as I became a teenager, my father retired and he was home a lot more. So my mom did a lot more of the discipline and my dad uh, was there, gave wisdom. Obviously at that point he became more of a, uh, of a guiding voice in our lives as well. But things I remembered that I learned from my dad. My dad, um, was a quiet man. He didn't always speak a lot, but when he did sweet speak, he, uh, he really tried to impact us. Uh, guidance that he gave me, um, were more instructive. Um, he made me uh, at 16 and 15 and 16 years old rotate my own tires on my car while he guided me. He didn't um, do it for me, but he guided me. Um, he instructed me and, and taught me how to change the oil, in, or not change the oil because I don't like my hands to get dirty, but how to check the oil and check the fluids in my car. Um, he guided me. Uh, and, and in my heart and my mind, that's what a good father does. He instructs and he guides. So maybe you have someone who influences your life, who has maybe uh, shared wisdom with you. Uh, and, and maybe it was, like I said, not a father, but maybe a grandfather or um, a, a teacher, aunt, uncle, uh, someone that you, uh, God put in your life for a season and for a reason. But as we look in Proverbs chapter 4 and we're reminded of wisdom, wisdom is something that we have to work for, reading God's word. 
if our earthly father loves us enough to give us guidance and um, impart wisdom, how much more does our Heavenly Father love us and want to give us the wisdom which leads to good judgment, makes us wise, makes us uh, able to turn away from evil and uh, know right from wrong and know what we should be listening to and what voices we should be hearing. So I encourage you to read and uh, uh, just um, make your own conclusions from what instruction you get from this chapter. And um, I'd like to pray with you before we uh, part ways. Um, So let's bow our heads. Father God, I do thank you for your word. I thank you for the reminder of our Father, uh, of those in our life who speak truth and who speak wisdom into our life, those who, um, Father, give us good guidance, those who teach us to have good judgment, those who show us the difference between good and evil. Father, thank you for your word where we can find instructions. Thank you for your son, Jesus, who came, lived a life, a sinless life, and then made the choice to die on a cross so that our sins could be forgiven. Father God, I just um, thank you for people that you put in my own life and people that you continue to allow to uh, share guidance, good judgment, and wisdom because we never stop learning. We never stop gaining wisdom. Thank you, Father, for this time that we've shared together and for um, those who are, are listening and those who...